Nimbus. The space gate to Dark Lord is charged up and now. And welcome back, Twitch, YouTube. It's your boy KBZ bringing you guys the month of watching. Again, that's the reason why we do these videos is that I have a huge passion for trade. I'm going to love talking about card games and working with the community. Has the same love and passion for admiring auto score, just little windows, as I do. And with that, let's get into it. I had to try to adjust my brightness there for a second. Like always, we're doing these market watches outside a lot with the live shoot uh, with you guys. So, you know, you go hear the birds and the bees and the wind blowing in the background. But right now, 542 Central Standard, um, 1702 Military. And it's dark out here, guys. It's dark. It's February 9th, 2024. But it feels good. It's, I'd, what is, it's got it at 58 degrees right now, but the wind's not blowing. It's, sprinkling a little bit though you might be able to hear that we're going with a new audio again today but hold on give me one moment hello oh Um, yeah, <laughs> like I was saying, and sorry for that quick break. Uh, it's sprinkling a little bit out here, but it's, it's hella smooth. So, hella smooth. Uh, left off last, I guess who was up in steel about city box, but there's a new kid on the block, Phantom Nightmare. Today's the official release of Phantom Nightmare. So, you know, we got to talk about it. I looked at it earlier. I just glanced at it when I was working. Promethean Princess was up here. She said four hundred dollars. Low the prayers to the voices voice. Um, where's my Yu-Gi-Oh card? So Yu-Gi-Oh card guy. Let's see. Phantom Nightmares today. They did have Maze of Millennia up. Okay, they got Maze of Millennia up now. The last time we tried to look at this because this is where we wanted to see the lore windows. This is where we wanted to read next when it looks just immaculate. And the cards are truly brought to life. Hit the trail on this Joey Wheel card. What was the cards I wanted to read? What was it quite a few actually? Flaming Swords cards. The first 10 are Flaming Swords cards. Fighting Sword. That looks dope. What is this? Fighting Flame Dragon. Is that dragon holding a sword in its mouth? Ultimate Flame Swordsman. Dope. Let's go. Mirage Swordsman. Salamandra the Flying Flame Dragon. What was it? Ultimate Mirage Swordsman. Dang, man. This card has a heck of a lot of text. But the lore window is dope. A retrain of um, uh, Crimson Dark Flare Knight, and then what was the other one? Mirage Knight. Arcane Force Card. Okay. Bonfire Combat Wheel. That's new. Ahsoka Pillar, Cabrera Stone, Triangle Zero, Home Pole, Earthbound Release, Number One Infection Buzz King. Okay. That thing looks wild. 
Delta Wing. Collector's Rare. <laughs> That's a oh. Collector Rare skin. Yeah, you still can't even tell. Like, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that is crazy. You still can't even tell. Like, absolutely no luster unless you're holding it in your hands in a freaking top loader and tilting it in all the angles in the light. It's so unfortunate. These Earthbound Immortal cards look wild, too. They're really pushing Earthbound Immortal. I mean, Earthbound Immortal is kind of cool. But dang, how many new cards did they give us? Six? Eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is eight? Gee whiz. The X with the Earthbound Immortal support. So is those new cards Synchro Fusion before they get into the reprints? Code Hat, Gazelle, Dial Warrior, Jet Synchron, D Synchro, Synchro Chase, More Earthbound Immortals, 100 Abstract. Okay. I mean, at least these cards get updated, but I don't think a lot of these need, need to update it. Because this lore one looks dope. Full Armor Black Ray Lancer. Why well, I like throwing an issue. That is fire. we about to look this up. Okay, I want to see if this has any other printings. Does this have a foil? A common out of legendary duels, duels from the deep, and then a rare? A ultra rare out of duelist saga. Shut the fuck up. Wow, I fucking hate the ultra rares and duel saga. The ultra rares and duel saga are for like D tier ultra rare technology in my opinion. Like, I really dislike them. Um. And that's so unfortunate that the full armor Black Ray Lancer, this amazing war window, has such a atrocious uh, foil. You got full armor Dark Knight Lancer. This thing is going all the way up into QCSR territory. That's cool. 18 listings from 3569, Mark Price 3111. That full armor Black Ray Lancer out of Dual Saga, 78 listings from 33 cents, Mark Price 55 cents. And then the Ultra out of Age of Overworld for full armor Dark Knight Lancer, 95 listings from 89, excuse me, 89 cents, Mark Price $1.07. Full armored Crystal Zero Lancer. This is also out of Dual Saga. I don't think this had, no, it does have a reprint in Maze Millennium. Um, 71 listings from $1.92, Mark Price 278. Another atrocious foil painting for it. And then Black Ray Lancer, the OG, super rad, a photon shockwave, 78 listings from 10 um, cents, Mark Price 44 cents. The uh, uh, Black Ray Lancer is a car used by Shark, which is interesting because it's, um, it's a dark attribute monster, it's not water attribute, even though full armor Black Ray Lancer. Full Armor Crystal Zero Lancer and Full Armor Dark Knight Lancer are all water attributes. I wonder, did he use that like when he was like under the possession of? Well, he used it when he wasn't under the possession of the number as well. See what we got. Yeah, I typed on that on accident. As I said, it's raining outside a little bit, and my screen was getting some water on it. So I wanted to go wipe it off, but it's a touch screen, of course. So, you know, that's probably going to click on something. Anyways, okay. So what we got here? Whoa. Let's get this under control. Uh, what else we got up in here? Maybe some millennia, some super stuff, some ultra guy stuff. They did go all the QCS. No, not a QCS. 
like the ancient chant, Millennium Sun God Unification. The rest of the reprint, Magic Spectre, Rescue Ace, and then Triple Tactic Stress. Let's just throw that in there at the end. Okay. Um, and then Booster Packs. We wanted to really go look into Phantom Nightmare. And Geist Grinder Golem. Does it have something to do with the you know? Tim Sorty Lotus, Ray Raptor, Noil Lanius, Ray Raptor Bloom, Vulture. The fish white sardine, okay. Goblin biker. Okay, let's let's start our journey. Down Phantom Nightmare. Uh Saphir Queen uh Dragon Queen the Voiceless, uh, 32 listings, $120. The value here is nowhere near as high as what it was in our Age of Overlord for the QCSRs. Um, Vito's the Eruption, Dragon of Extinction. Okay. I'll hold on another phone call. Hello. As I was saying, bro, so rudely interrupted. Now, like I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted up here on Phantom Nightmare. Booster boxes are going for seventy six, seventy seven. That's kind of impressive. And then you have, in terms of regular secret rare, I don't see the Promethean Princess regular secret rare up here, but I do see low the priest, pray, uh, the prayers of the voiceless voice, a twenty five listing from sixty four forty eight, marked by sixty six ninety eight for her secret rare. And then ultra rare Snake Eyes popular seventy listing from sixty ninety nine for a ultra rare. That's that's ridiculous. I'm sorry. Promethean Princess Restore of Flames, it's an ultra rare. It didn't come as a secret. That's interesting. 73 listing from 4107. So that's why low is the highest card because it's the most expensive secret. When they're trying to like push the ultras in this set. Oh lordy. The rain is starting to pick up. All right, now what else we got? (laughs) 
Vitos, the Eruption Dragon of Extinction, Secret Rare, 73 listing from 1299, mark price 1393. <laughs> yeah, so the value here in the secrets is definitely not here like it was in Age of Overlord. We're like M City, Dia Bell Star, um, SP Little Knight, Wanted Seeker of Sinful Spoils, like all of these secret rares are 40 plus dollars. 40 plus dollars when this set only has one secret rare that's 40 plus dollars. Um, but a lot of value, a lot of room to, for growth, a lot of a lot of potential growth for these secret rares, in my opinion. There's a lot of potential for growth, but then for secret rares like Load of Prayers of the Voices Voice and Vitos, the Eruption Dragon of Extinction, there's actually room for them to actually fall in value. But yeah, you got six secret rares right here, sub five dollars. Easy. Let's check out the QCSRs. Let's filter it. That's all we want. Zephyr, Skull Guardian. A lot of the ultra rare um, cards that have QCSRs are the ones leading the way in terms of QCSRs. Like two of the ultra rares that have QCSRs, Promethean Princess and Zephyr, are the cards that are leading the set in terms of value. Well, about market price. <laughs> And then there's some of these QCSRs that haven't even sold yet. Like uh, Goblin, Biker, Big, Gabunga. This card hasn't even sold yet. It's uh, as low as listing is 72 bucks. The Magic Spectre one hasn't sold yet at $36. The Black Goat Labs at $76 hasn't sold yet. When we look at the estimated base price, if booster boxes are about $75, 75 times four is going to run you about 96 packs to pull any QCSR at random. So what is that? What are you looking at? Um, 75, 150, uh, about $320 is the estimated base price. So you're looking at play sets for the price of what it would cost to pull one for a lot of these. Some of these are even 10% of that, like Iron Thunder. This QCSR is 10% of the base price of what a QCSR should be. You can legitimately get 10 of these for the price of what it would cost to pull one 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 day of release. Psychic processor, is that a is that a spell card? It's a monster. Up to two machine psychic and or cyber monsters from your hand, and they can attack directly this turn. During the standby phase of the next turn after this card was banished, you can add this banished card to your hand. What the hell? I could definitely see some shenanigans with this. This is very unique because it doesn't put any restriction on the monsters that are special summoned from your hand. If you can banish this card, you control. Special summon up to two machine psychic and or cyberish monsters from your hand. And they can attack directly this turn. What? Hold on, another phone call.
and we're back. Um, yeah, I like this card. And depending on what the lore window looks like, let's go ahead and slide on over here. Dark Guardian, Phantasmal. Let's go ahead and skip through a lot of these. Let them go ahead and get their load in. Let's go back to see if we can find a psychic processor. Royal Rhino with Deceitful Dice. Okay. <laughs> what is this? A, a vanilla? Jean Lear, Ghoul Illusionist. An Illusionist monster at that. Dang, a level 4 dark attribute. What does it say? Illusion monster? Illusion normal monster with 2,000 attack and 0 defense points. Shout out to Pegasus. EMP Meow Man. Okay, IP. Procession of the T Jar. What? Emissary from the House of Wax. Goblin Freefall Squad. This lower window is dope. Is this a foil? Yes, yeah, it's super rare. This is nice. I like this. Goblin Free Fall Squad. E Stranger Big Bang. This card looks kind of cool too. Is this a super? It's a common. That's fine. I like my non foils as well. Berserk Arch Fiend. Time Reloader. That looks like a Vylon monster. Mag Macho Dragon. Okay. Cardinal the Eternal Machine. I wonder what the lore is behind that. Ultra Rare and a QCSR. Cardinal Car the Eternal Machine. Hold on. Phantom Nightmare. Car not the Eternal Machine, 30 bucks for that lore window and QCSR rarity. That's tough. Hold on, I'm going too far back. Mag Macho, your time reloader. Magic Spectre, Porcupine, Yamarashi. Aroma Lilith Rosalina. Okay, that's a super. Saravia, Dragon Sage of the Voiceless Voice. Saphira, Dragon Queen of the Voiceless Voice. Lo, the Prayers of the Voiceless Voice. Who is this? If these are all retrains, this is Saphira. This is Saravia. Who the hell is Lo? I'm about to type in Lo. Horus, the Black Flame Deity. So Voiceless Voice has lore with uh, Horus. Moment Totland. Check. What the hell? A, a Goaty? Two Goaties. Phantasma and then back to Dark Guardian. So hold on. Let me see. Low. Low. Not all low in Yu-Gi-Oh. Low. Four hundred and sixty seven re results. I don't know what that low is a retrain of. It 
it would have to be a ritual monster, if I'm not mistaken, right? Suravius and Sephira are ritual monsters. What is this? Oh, that's the spirit monster from Cyberstorm Access. Yeah, the funny looking scan. We're really going down the rabbit hole right now. I wonder if I could find it better on Yu-Gi-Oh card guide. I type in love. I'm not getting anything. But that's gonna bother me for a bit. Um, but yeah, outside of that. This is a, what is this, a Phantom Nightmare Day 1, so I definitely expect some of these prices to drop. There are going to be some rebounds with some of these cards. Um, yeah, there are going to be some rebounds with some of these cards, but uh, for the most part, a lot of these cards are going to go down in value. And then we got up and coming. It's not listed up here, but it should be up and coming here soon. Uh, Battles of Legend, Chapter 1. Legend, Chapter 1 box. Yeah, I got it at 144. This was pre-sale 223. So this is this comes out in exactly two weeks. Um so expect reveals like next Tuesday, like we talked about before. They should Konami should be more on time this time. Like they held close to the chest as, as hell with the 25th anniversary rarity collection, where instead of letting people reveal it on Tuesday, they met them with like Thursday or Friday, something wild like that. I was upset because I was on it. But nevertheless, um, you expect those reveals. Oh. Hearing a bell. A few days. A couple of days after the Super Bowl. It's going to get kind of spicy. It'd be nice if we had a YCS this weekend. I'd love to see what the meta is looking like after Phantom Nightmare. It's been a while since we had a YCS, but that'd be crazy for them to do a YCS during Super Bowl weekend. But I feel like that would be typical Konami. But of course, guys, we can't be out here all day. Excuse me, typical co, co-, co- money. We can't be out here all day. Hopefully, I provide some value with this live stream. Mark a watch, like Kappa, right? Send me your energy so we can get this best gate charger for part two. And with that, we're going to be getting up out of here. Nimbus? Are we in there? Are we in there? Are we in there?